You are an English student. You have a choice to make. Do you choose the teacher who has studied about how to teach languages? Or the teacher who has studied about languages and successfully learned a second language? Who do you choose? Hi, I'm Damien Herlihy and I'm one of Pavilion ELT's vloggers. Welcome to 2022 and the new look modern English teacher. The first new bumper issue lifted off in January and in season three of this vlog, I'm gonna be focusing on the theme of each issue. I'll choose one article and provide a summary of some key ideas and then relate it to my own teaching context. Hopefully through this process, you'll take some of the ideas and connect them to your own teaching experiences, no matter where you are in the world. The theme of the current magazine is starting afresh. Fingers crossed this year, we do get to start afresh and we can maybe sort of hopefully possibly put COVID behind us. But anyway, in the latest issue, one article that caught my eye was It Pays to Learn by George Murdoch. It talks about the benefits of teachers learning a second language. Across my career, I've always wondered whether to be a successful English teacher, do you need to have learned a second language successfully yourself? Anecdotally, when I look back at the teachers I've hired over the last eight years at my language school, I feel that the bilingual teachers perform better in the classroom than monolingual teachers. Also, from my own personal experience, once I started to seriously learn a second language, I think my teaching improved at the same time. As a teacher, it's always important to approach your subject matter with a beginner's mind. Or in other words, seeing the process of learning through the perspective of your students. And what better way to do this than putting yourself in your students' shoes by learning a second language. In his article, Murdoch lists a range of benefits for teachers in learning a second language. I'm gonna choose five of those benefits and then relate them to my own experiences. Murdoch believes that doing a language course highlights what you like and don't like about learning a language. This then informs how you go about teaching in your own classroom. Let me tell you a tale about two language courses I studied at an adult education center. Both of these courses influenced me in how I teach today. One was in Thai and the other in Japanese. The Thai course is more of a negative experience. It sort of showed me how I didn't want to teach. It was like a pre-intermediate course, but unfortunately the teacher spoke all the time in English and we had little or no opportunity to speak in the second language. I probably had more chances to speak, speaking to myself in the mirror in Thai. Also, all the lessons lacked any kind of direction. There was no sort of goals or milestones to keep you motivated on a lifetime journey of learning a second language. Well, on the other hand, the Japanese course was a much more positive experience and I was able to take lots of different ideas and apply them to my own teaching context. In this course, the teacher always came in with a set goal at the beginning of the lesson. Also, they brought in lots of re realia and personal anecdotes that related directly to the type of topics that the students were interested in. In the last eight years, my Thai language journey has allowed me to develop a lot more empathy for my students in their own English journey. I think I've become more sensitive to the social isolation students can feel when learning a second language. I felt whenever I spoke in Thai, I had a mask on, which prevented people from seeing 
the real me. I just didn't have the vocabulary or the pronunciation skills in Thai to express myself effectively. And this became very demotivating. I'm now more sensitive to how students can feel when they face a setback when learning a language. I always try to act as a, I don't know, a cheerleader or a motivator to pick them back up when they have a failure and make sure they can see failures not just in a negative light, but also as a key learning experience. Murdoch writes that knowing a second language can be very helpful from a classroom management perspective, particularly in an EFL context. This knowledge can streamline the whole classroom experience for your students. It allows you to give quick translations around difficult concepts or new words. You can also be clearer with your instructions or use a range of translation activities. Also, it shows that you're interested in your students' culture and country. But most importantly, it allows you to listen in onto your students' conversations and find out if they're saying anything bad about you. As a student of a second language, I find I crave feedback. In one of my Thai courses, I was really starved of any meaningful feedback. It was lots of sort of, I don't know, meaningless platitudes like, oh, that's great, or you can read Thai really well. When what I really wanted was actionable feedback that could improve my Thai. I think one of the important factors in deciding to pay for a teacher is getting expert feedback. Quality feedback is the key to improving more quickly than studying a language by yourself. Now, when I teach, I always try to incorporate individual feedback for all my students. So make sure you're always planning for feedback moments in your classes. Who do you prefer? The teacher who shows an interest in your life outside of the classroom or the teacher who doesn't even know your name? Some of my favourite classroom experiences are when my teacher ties my own interests into the lesson. Showing an interest in your students' lives allows you to personalise your lessons and hopefully engage them in the process of learning in a lot deeper way. I think Murdoch makes a clear case for learning a second language, a third language, fourth language, maybe even a fifth language. It really pushes you out of your comfort zone and makes you into a better teacher. At my school, I encourage my teachers to learn some Thai. In the orientation, we give them some basic survival phrases. And then, if they want to continue that language journey, we pay some of the tuition for their private classes. Over to you. Do you think to be an effective teacher, you need to have learnt a second language? Drop a comment below. Before you go, make sure you subscribe to ETP to get more videos that will push you to greater heights with your professional development. See you next time.